Hi there, you are watching Point Tourist video blog channel and in this video I will show you how to make very cheap and simple split charging automatic relay uh, device to charge your main battery from your engine alternator and insulate your two batteries, all the automatic stuff with just these two simple and very cheap devices. Stay with me and I show you how to do this. If you're making a van conversion, it's a great idea to have the separate battery to power up all your devices uh, you're using all around your living area, such as lights, laptop charging and all the stuff. But it's not enough to just throw the battery to the van, uh, you need somehow to charge it. Most builders using a power of sun for charging their batteries. And it's a great that nowadays you could have just a 100 bucks solar kit that's able to charge your battery. But what if it's not so much sun around or you need more power? The good thing you already have the great power source for charging your batteries in your car or van. And it's called a car alternator. Every car has it and depends on the model you could get from 5 to 10 hundreds watts of power from this and it's a huge amount of power for such powerful solar installation you will spend about 500 bucks and more but in this video i will show you how to take this free power from alternator to charge your batteries just for about 10 12 bucks wow Let's see how it works. So first way is how to get this amazing power from car alternator. You just wire up the plus from your house battery to your car battery and minus uh, two. So when you will start your engine and your alternator will making power, you just will charge both batteries at the same time. Voila, problem solved. Thank you for watching and bye. Wow, wow, not so fast. That's wrong thing to do. That way you not only will charge your batteries at the same time, but you will also discharge your batteries at the same time while you're using your lights and laptop charging. So, at the end of the day, it will be a moment when you just forget to turn off some light or will be watching TV too much and you will end with the depleted both batteries. And guess what? You couldn't start your engine. And we here in the middle of the nowhere where you have no power and you couldn't start your engine. Have fun! Also car batteries not made for this kind of usage. If they like to give big amount of power to start the engine, charge it back and just rest. Not for continuous home-like usage for a long period of time. So how we could solve this problem? We need somehow to break the circuit between two batteries when alternator is not charging them. For this purpose we could have a mechanical circuit high amp breaker if you extremely low on a budget or want a very simple solution, this will work too. It costs about 5 to 10 bucks and it works very simple. You just turn the handle and it breaks connection between these two nuts. Very simple. But believe me, one day you will forget to break the circuit and deplete all your batteries and middle of nowhere here we are again not able to start our engine to make this scheme perfect we need to go deeper to the high advanced dark match technologies of the relays and automatic circuit breaking it's not very hard as it sounds i will show you two simple devices we will use to make this and you will see it's very 
easy and everybody could make this. The third thing we need to do is replace that mechanical circuit breaker with the relay. Relay is how you break your circuits with the electronic logic. Relay is a very cool small device. It has four connections. Two of them is the main circuit connection. In our situation, we connect our positive from house battery to one connection and our positive from car battery to other connection. And these other two small connections is where the magic happens. If you send 12 volt power to these two little guys and one positive and one negative, it will connect the circuit between these two. So it calls the relay is closed. When you stop giving 12 volt power here, the relay will open and these two connections will be disconnected. Also, you will hear a nice mechanical click when the relay opens or closes. How cool is that? Now we just need to open or close our relay at the right time. And for do that, I bought this very simple and cheap device that only purpose is decide if alternator and engine is working or not. For this purpose, you connect two wires to the car battery and if engine is working, it will send 12 volt power on the other two wires. And if your engine is not working, it will be nothing here. How it works? It's very simple. When alternator is working, the voltage in the car system goes up. That's how it charges your car battery. It sends a slightly up power, about 13-14 volts, to the car battery to charge it. So this device see that increase of voltage power and turn these two wires on. So when alternator is running, we will get 12 volt power on these two wires. So what? We just connect it to the relay. And basically that's all. We connect these two wires to the relay. And if engine is working, it sends 12 volt powers, relay is closed our battery is charging and if engine is stopped 12 volts is not sending anymore and circuit is breaking between these contacts that our batteries is separated from each other simple as that and about the wires because you're working with very high power source of energy you need uh, good wires to be safe so, if your alternator is less than 100 amps, you will be good with about 4 AVG or 20 square millimeters of wire. It looks about like this one. But if your alternator is more than 100 amps and goes high about maybe 180 amps, you need a bigger wire, about 2 AVG or 35 square millimeter like this one don't be cheap on wires it will be very dangerous is if your electrical power is higher than your wire can handle and don't forget to put fuses everywhere when you're working with such uh, big wires with such high amount of power it's no such thing with too much fuses if you have wire it must be fused Period. If you don't understand how all the scheme works, no worries. I will put the link in the description to the separate video where I will show you the scheme and describes all the parts and all the connections and all the things is happening in the circuit so everyone will understand how this works. And here you can see how I connect all my wires to my house battery side. So he, here is my two batteries, two amp hours each. And here is the negative wire that with river nut connects to my body of the van. It's very good and steady connection. And here is the plus wire that through the fuse again 
goes to the wire that goes there yeah here you can see here too I will add some insulation here to not damage the wires and it goes all the way there all the way it's a long wire because my batteries is on the back of the van so it goes there and there and there and here we are again on the car battery box the battery box in Sprinter van located under the driver's floor so it's very accessible and easy to work with I connect all the wires uh, as I described you and as, uh, as I show in the scheme also I connect the previous three-way switch uh, which uh, work like automatic mode in the center is off and on the left is a manual mode which close relay if I want to jump, jump start my engine so now what we have to do is test is it works or not for testing purpose I get my multimeter and now I measure the voltage on my car battery it shows 12.5 so now I will measure the voltage on the house battery side of the relay and that shows 13.5 so as you see now the relay is open and my two batteries in is insulated from each other so now we will start the engine okay now engine is started and I measure my car battery the voltage goes up to yeah if you hear that that was the relay that turns on so now the relay shows 13.7 volts on the one side of the relay and the same on the other side of the relay so relay is closed and my batteries connect with each other and they are charging now same time so the system works as I wanted to I start the engine the alternator is running my relay is closed and charging both my batteries at the same time when I turn off the engine the voltage drops relay is opens insulate my batteries and I can discharge my house batteries without worrying that my start engine battery will be empty it will stay intact all the time and it was the purpose of this installation so you could have a factory made uh, the ready voltage sensitive insulators for about 50 or 100 dollars depends on the power in it can go through them and my installation was about 10 bags uh, of course you also need to get the batteries and the wires uh, wires was about uh, five dollars for one meter and i need about five meters so it was about 25 dollars for me but it's a very huge wires and also i got the fuse i got the automatic fuse they are great i love it so if you short something you just uh, click it back right on and don't need to change anything so they was a little expensive about ten dollars each but you can get a simple one just a metal plate the 100 amps 200 amps uh, any any amount of power uh, they are much cheaper about three five dollars and for change it's a very very easy to I made all I want in this video now I will have uh, only one job to do is close all my battery compartment uh, locate switch somewhere and that's all I hope you enjoy this uh, easy and cheap installation so now we can get all the power sources that we already have 
and use it in our good. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a like, and bye. And don't forget, all the links to all the items, as usual, will be in the description. Also, I will put in the description the link to the scheme and the video that describes it uh, in the full and uh, long way. My batteries under there and the two wires. Wow! What's the rush? So now we will start the engine. Uh, of 200 amp, but up hours, 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 hours.